And we're back with our players of the ball game. And as we mentioned, one of them, of course, the uh, the guy who uh, was a lot on his shoulders tonight. A couple of guys really had to come through, and I think they really did big time. And that would be, of course, Cam Jones is one of them. As Cam was red hot, and you know, he was tossing up those threes and feeling it again and hitting nothing but net. Ended up with 28 points in the ball game. But one thing I said about Cam before the ball game, you're going to need guys here who have to step it up underneath the basket. Wasn't worried about him, as I said. He's far from the tallest guy that's going to going to play against all year long. But he gets his share and more of the rebounds. He's a hustler. He gives it 100 percent. And Cam, great job and a great. Uh, really the way the team meshed together here under the circumstances and played so well. Yeah, I mean, while playing without Derek, I mean, it was a, it was a hard task going into the night, but I mean, we came in, we knew we could switch up defense a little bit. As you saw, we played 1-2-2 a little bit, right. and we played very well defense, very good help side, and uh, we just kind of tried to attack uh, without Derek. In the day. You know, one of the things that, you know, people are, are asking me, and they're saying, you know, uh, you know, this team, and of course, we have mentioned it all along, when they run, they're really something else. They can take on anybody, and when they end up, you know, not running and get away from the game, it becomes a different situation, but you guys really, you know, you put it together together tonight and you were really when you had it you really were running yeah I mean we started off very well we started the game by uh, a lot of tempo play very good defense we we're pretty hot from the field also so I mean coming in the game we just try to try to stay aggressive I mean that's pretty much it and play good defense you know when you you look at it the, here's a team that uh, Ridley had knocked off uh, of course a team in their own league Conestoga from the Central League in the playoffs uh, they were number one Conestoga 36 34 they beat them on their home floor and then after that of course they came back again and you know took it right there all the way with Plymouth Mike Marsh uh, before they finally succumbed by 44 to 41 the other night. So uh, you know this this is a good ball club. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think they match up well. Con still and Plymouth Mike Marsh. It's one of those very close games. And I mean, even without Derek, we had a little bit of size advantage on them. We rebounded, we rebounded pretty well tonight, and uh, we played overall a good game. But I give it to them. They're a good team. We just played very well tonight. Yeah, I thought really what what you guys did. I think was one of the things was I saw for four quarters where you guys played extremely well as a unit as a team team and you moved the ball, you, you uh, were running when you had to run and, you know, you got an opportunity. And one of the things that you guys were hitting too is, is you know, tonight you, I thought a couple of guys, you were one, and I thought really Nick Serby was the other that had to do something here. And I think Nick, along with Mark Flagg, responded well in, in the, underneath that basket and doing what they had to do. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Mark was his first start tonight, and Nick, we knew he had to rebound a lot tonight. And so they came in, they played aggressive. First half, a little pass, passive, and then our coach got on them at halftime. They came out rebound very well did play the role well I'll tell you what we're looking for a good one coming up you're going to be playing Cedar Cliff uh, probably the coach will let you know you know all about them if you don't know too much about them but uh, they were in a big one for Reading the other night and they went double overtime and lost 67 to 66 to Reading so they finished fourth and of course you guys finished third and uh, the way it looks hopefully uh, you know be closer to home for the ball game yeah I mean hopefully we don't have to go too far for this game but I mean I heard they went to double overtime we played Reading over the summer and they're they're, they're a very good team, so I mean, they must be tough going double OT with, with uh, running, so we're looking for uh, a battle. Well, I'll tell you what, we, we, uh, I, and as I said, usually what happens in games like this, guys like yourself, uh, you know, you're the guys that's been around, you're the guys got to be one of the leaders, and usually that's when, you know, guys like you step up and play like they play tonight, and I think, uh, you know, if there's anyone out here who's scouting and watching, and they, they do, especially when you hit these playoffs, they have to like what they saw from you tonight. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if teams here tonight, there's no I can, I can shoot it, but I mean, I like to pass my teammates, you know, facilitate a little bit, play good defense. But I mean, we're looking forward to the, uh, going on in the states and just battling and competing for the state championship. All right, and we've got, of course, as you know, the Aria uh, Health is one of our sponsors, and you ought to know uh, probably more than anybody because you have a dozen of these shirts, <laughs> more than likely. But our congratulations, Thank Cam. You. Great job tonight, and uh, good luck in that game coming up. The, no, next week you'll have some time off a little bit. Uh, what are your thoughts a little bit, Coach? Maybe give you a couple of days off and then get ready for uh, your next bowl game? Yeah, I mean, we have off tomorrow, no practice tomorrow, and then Monday right back at it. Uh, we got to go into practice focus, and not only states, there's no playing around, and going to go home, so it's time to get ready. All right. Nice job tonight, and uh, good luck the rest of the way, and we'll see you again, of course.